Namaste. Welcome to Amy Talk Yoga. The theme today is there are lots of ways to be smart. As you begin your conscious breathing, just noticing your in-breath and your out-breath. I have a short little story to tell you. When I was maybe four, maybe barely five, I just taught myself how to read. I don't remember anybody pointing anything, I just could read. And the book I learned to read with was pretty thick. It was an old, old, old Dick and Jane book and it didn't even have a cover. So before you think like, wow, she's really smart. She could read when she was five or four or before kindergarten. Let me tell you the other side. So yes, I could read, but I did not get the concept of a bookmark. So every time I wanted to read my book, I started at the beginning and read the part I had already read, just hoping I would get enough time to get a little further. So I can still remember the amazing light bulb moment of a bookmark. Okay, so sometimes we're really smart at one thing, not so smart at another thing. And let's just be kind to ourselves. We all have strengths and weaknesses. While we take five breaths together, think about a way that you're smart. When you're done with your five breaths, just blink your eyes open. If you would like to sit on your mat and breathe this whole practice, that's great. You're still doing yoga. So just do whatever you want. Remember, I can't even see you. Come to hands and knees if you're moving on with me. Spread the fingers really wide. Press down into your fingertips. We'll just rock back and forth. Bringing, keeping our elbows straight, bringing our shoulder, bringing the shoulder a little bit in front of the fingers and then a little bit back and then right over the wrist. Stretch the right leg behind you, point the toe. Left arm comes up, bicep by the ear, gaze down, spread fingers so wide you're a tiger prowling and this is your claw. Inhale and exhale, hand down, knee down, other leg stretched out behind you, point the toe, right arm forward, spread the fingers so wide, claw, gazing down at your mat, inhale, exhale, hand down, knee down, if you're cold when you started like me wearing extra layers, just feel free to take off whatever you'd like. Hands back down, spread the fingers wide, tuck the toes, hover the knees. Let's just breathe here three breaths. Hips high for our first down dog of practice. Pedal the feet, look under the arms, bend the knees, and find a little stillness.
Look at your thumbs. Walk your hands backwards to your feet. Bend the knees as much as you need to, and then bend them a lot. Elbows come up to the knees, palms press together. Look down at the mat. This is downhill skier. So as we're flying through the slopes, let's wake up our feet. Feet are super important part of skiing and yoga. So we'll press down into our big toe, spread the other toes, and then feel as if we were pressing our feet apart, pressing our pinky toes away from each other. We'll call that activate our feet. So every time I say that, spread your pinky toes away. Shoulders back, still looking down. Arms behind us, palms up. Now we're skiers going off a jump. Activate feet, press into the feet, stand all the way up. Hmm. Feeling strong, feeling smart. Just walk up to the front of your mat. I'm going to turn and face you, but you don't need to turn sideways. We'll just take one hand, press it straight down. Other arm, press it straight up. And a little bit of a bend. Just waking up the sides of the body, a little lateral stretch. Arms back, switch them. Other hand down. Other arm straight up in the sky. My palm is flat like I'm holding a tray. Come on back up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinging at the waist like you're peering over a cliff. Forward fold down, hands down to the mat. Step the right leg back. Let the knee come down. Rise up. Gaze up. hands down to the mat. You know, it's really nice to have blocks here, and since I have them, I'm just gonna put my hands on the block as I press my knee forward. And then a little bit back. Tuck the toe, lift the knee, step forward. Forward fold, half lift, looking over the cliff, Forward fold, hinge all the way back up. Hands to the heart. Let's do it again. Inhale, arms up, spread the fingers. Exhale, look over the cliff, hinge down. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, hands down to your blocks or to a mat. Left foot steps back, left knee down. Arms up, take a breath. Arms back down to your mat or a block. We'll just shift forward one time and then back one time. Tuck the back toe, lift the knee, step forward, forward fold, half lift, forward fold, Rise all the way up. I'm going to move the blocks, but keep them handy in case I want them again. We'll do a, a lovely little sun salutation A. Only two. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back, right foot, followed by the left. Shift forward, coming to knees, or staying on toes, lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, press the tops of the feet, tiny little baby cobra. Look forward, 
Exhale, look down at the mat, tuck the toes, hips high, downward facing dog. We'll take five breaths here, spreading the fingers wide, pressing into the knuckles. Inhale, look forward. Step forward with the right foot, followed by the left. Half lift, forward fold, rise up. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back with the left foot, followed by the right. Coming to knees again, or shifting a little bit forward, elbows close to the sides. Lower all the way down. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Spreading the fingers. Shoulders away from the ears, feeling our long, strong legs. Look forward. Left foot steps up, right foot joins it. Half lift, Ardha Uttanasana, forward fold, Uttanasana, rise all the way up. Take a breath, check in with your feet. Twisting, pressing the outside edge. Nice. Shift the weight into your right leg and pick up the left knee. When you get your balance, stretch back to airplane. Back toe points down, palms can go together or out to the side. Knee back up. I forgot to say this, but soften the knee the standing knee as you're stretching back. Then set the back foot down. I'm letting the heel come down too so that we're right here in warrior one. Look up. Make any little adjustments that you need. It's as if we're pulling our thighs together and keeping the legs where they are, hands come behind the back, clasp the hands, gaze down, shift forward, arms can come up or stay on your back, humble warrior. Thumbs back to the, your sacrum, the lower bone on the back. Hands down, pivot the back toes so they're facing forward, straighten the front leg. Pyramid, Parjvottanasana. Look forward, step the back foot forward. Half lift, forward fold. Rise up. Hands to the heart as we shift as you shift the, your weight into your left foot. It's really kind of bouncy here. I've got two mats. Usually a wood floor is so much better. Whatever. Get your balance. Stretch on back. Pointing the back toe down helps keep the hips level. 
fall out of it, that's okay. Just try again. Come on back up. Lift the knee, straighten the standing leg, soften the standing knee, stretch it on back. One breath, set the back foot down, let the heel come down, and just adjust into your warrior one. So your back foot's straight, we're pushing into the outside of the back foot, front knees bent, arms up, energetically pulling the inner thighs together. Hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, keeping the legs the same. Shift forward, humble warrior, just let your head hang on down. Lift the arms if you like. Hands down to the mat. Pivot the back toe so it's facing forward. Look forward and fold on down. Pyramid pose. So when we're here, we're thinking more about having our ribs on our thigh than knee to nose. Let's hold this for three. Two, thighs are still pulling together. One, look forward, step forward, half lift, forward fold, come all the way up, hands to the heart, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, half lift, exhale, hands to the mat, step back with the right foot, followed by the left, chaturanga here or don't, lower down, up dog, we'll all meet in down dog, right leg lifts, step it forward, back foot pivots down, rise up warrior two, reverse, so left hand comes down, right arm up and over, Side angle, forearm to the thigh, left arm straight up in the air, gaze up at the thumb. Hardly any weight on this bottom arm. Warrior two, keeping the legs the same, bring the arms back out. Straighten the front leg. Shift on forward, triangle. Trying to keep the arms in a straight line. More important than how low you go. In fact, on the other side, I'll use a block. Pressing into the feet, come back up. Windmill the hands down, step the back foot forward. Half lift, forward fold, rise up. Hands to the heart. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step back with the left foot. Followed by the right. Shift forward. Lower down. Up dog. Down dog. Inhale, the left leg comes up. Exhale, left hand to left foot. Right foot pivots, come up, warrior one. I mean two. Which warrior is it? Facing forward. Thinking about your thighs dragging together. And reverse. Right hand slides down, left arm up and over.
side angle. So left forearm rests on the thigh, right arm straight up in the air. Gazing up. Think about your feet. Still using mountain position, so still pressing into the outsides of the feet as they feel like they're twisting apart. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg, shift forward, find triangle. So nice that I have a block right here so I can just gently set my hand on the block. Other arm straight up. Pressing into the both feet. Come back to warrior two. Windmill the arms down. Step the back foot forward. Forward fold. Half lift. Rise all the way up. Hands to the heart. Hands on the hips. Shift the weight into the right foot, lift the left knee, come into, I should be looking this way, come into tree pose, setting the foot on the thigh or on the shins, hands to the heart, then, pretend I'm still here, okay, then, let the knee come forward, stretch it back, set it down, rise up, crescent lunge. So our back, ball of the foot is down, but the heel is up. Hands to the heart, twist to the side, looking back over your thumb. So my right foot is in front, I'm twisting to the right, and I'm looking back over my right arm. Come on back, step your foot forward. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just gonna do tree here. Find your foot placement, firm up your standing leg. Maybe we grew our arms on the other side, I do not remember. And lift the knee forward, stretch back, set the foot down, crescent lunge on this side. Whoa, sometimes that's a little tippy. You might need to toe heel your feet a little further apart. Hands to the heart, twist to the left, look over the left thumb. Come on back around, hands down to the mat, step back, come into downward facing dog. Shift forward into plank and we'll just hold plank for a few breaths. So arms are straight, elbows are straight. Our bicep is looking in between the L that our pointer finger and our thumb make. Well, let's hold this for five. Glutes relaxed, four. Three. Two. One. Press back to down dog really slowly. Let's shift forward again. Straighten the arms. Hold for three. Two. Pressing into the fingers. One. As slowly as you can, back to downward facing dog.
Let your knees come to the mat. Come out wide and sink down into child's pose. Hips go down to the heels. Forehead rests on the mat. Stay there as long as you like, but if you're ready to move on, come on up. Come into hands and knees, and we're just going to um, cross our feet behind us and flip over, or just come to seated however you would like. Coming on to our back, we'll pick our knees up in the air like we're sitting in a chair, so our knees are trying to be right over our hips. Feet flexed. We'll just breathe here for a minute. Bring the knees together. Hands behind the head. Elbows can be pointing up. Now, notice your sacrum. Let's put our feet down and talk about the sacrum. So the sacrum is the little triangle bone at the bottom of your spine. It's five bones that are fused together. So press your sacrum down into the mat and then release it. Don't release it so far that you can get your whole hand under, under your back, but maybe you could just get a pencil. So press the sacrum, tiny little pencil space, press the sacrum, tiny little pencil. Now kind of in between the press and the pencil, just leave it there and pick your feet back up. So a cool thing about your sacrum is those bones all fuse together when you're an adult, but when you're a baby, you have so many more bones. You have 300 and when you're grown up, you only have 206. Hands behind the head, feet flexed super hard, lift up the shoulders, Sacrum down, and we'll just kick our feet up into the air one more time. So elbows are pointing straight up in the air, but they are not yanking our head up. They're just there, holding our head. Feet flexed really hard. Sacrum down on the ground. One more fun sacrum fact, that those bones don't fuse together until you're 25 years old. Crazy, right? And let the knees come into the chest. Let the head come down. Relax your feet. Check on your sacrum. Still pressing it down. Lift the feet back up. Pick up your head. Elbows pointing straight up. This time we'll take our feet straight out. Or they could go up and down like we just did. Feet flex super hard, sacrum pressing into the mat, elbows pointing straight up but not yanking your head. You could do this really low or you could do it higher. Hmm. Let the knees come into the chest, let the head come down. It might feel good to do a little circle, massaging the sacrum. And let your feet come down and just flip over like you're a pancake onto the mat, okay? So you're on your belly. I'll take off my glasses. Press the tops of your feet into the mat so that your knees might even come up. Then arms face, hands face each other. Lift the shoulders. Still looking down at the mat. Breathe. Let everything come down. 
Let your right ear come down. Toes touch, or toes are close to each other, but the heels separate, and palms are up. Lift the head. Press the tops of the feet so that the knees are lifted. Lift the shoulders. Arms can come up. Maybe lift the feet this time. Breathing for five, four, three, one inch higher, two, one, left ear comes down, hmm. So this side of the pancake's done. Just flip on back over to your back for bridge pose. Bringing the soles of the feet close to the hips, but not really touching. You can do your arms like robots and press into the back of your arm just to get your bridge started. Then press your hands down into the mat Press into your feet, which remember are twisting away from each other. Just lift your knees up. And by knees, I mean your hips. Just lift them on up. Now, sometimes when we do this, our ribs are way up in the sky. But just for today, try to keep your ribs a little lower. Pressing into the ground with your arms makes this a really strong pose. while we're breathing here. Maybe you're the kind of person who is smart about people, who can just read a room, who just knows things. And that's a kind of smartness that's often overlooked. Pick up your toes, relax your arms, let your backbone come down one vertebrae at a time. Set your toes down, feet come to the opposite edge of the mat, let your knees come together. If you're wearing glasses, it's worth it to take them off as you bring your hands to prayer pose and press your thumbs into your third eye. Hmm. I used to just do this over my glasses and I can just tell you that it is not the same. Hands come back down to the mat. Feet come a little closer together. Let's press up into bridge again. You could do the same bridge that we did before, or if you're feeling really adventurous, you could cross one leg over the other. And then switch. And wherever you are, let's just breathe for three more breaths. So the next time you see someone doing something so stupid, just think, I wonder in what way that person is smart. This time lift your heels one vertebrae at a time all the way down. Heels come down. Feet come out, knees together, thumbs to the third eye. You know, when you remember the good things about yourself, the ways in which you're smart, the ways in which you're kind, it's easier to look on others with a little more compassion. Hands down to the mat. Let your feet come apart. Let your knees come together. Arms out to a T. 
let the knees go to the right. Your right hip will come up, that's okay. Just gaze softly over to the left. Let your knees come up. Glue them together again. Let them just drift to the left as your head goes to the right. Knees come back up, arms over the head, press the back of your head down into the mat. Let the arms come up, let the feet come up, hold the outside or inside of your feet for happy baby, and just rock. Happy Baby's the kind of pose you can do anything you want. Arms up like goal posts, soles of the feet together, feet find the mat, the outsides of the feet, knees just drop away, Supta Baddha Konasana, which is just butterfly on your back. Let the arms come down by your side, palms up, feet slide away from you, drift apart, no need to hold on to or flex those feet anymore, tuck the shoulder blades under. Shavasana is where our body is soaking up the good things that we did. Our breath is remembering how great it feels to just slow down. Our spirit is remembering whatever we talked about. Maybe, yes, I am smart. Maybe something else that came into it. So while you're settling in, if you haven't done yoga with me before, I'll just tell you that I'll chant a little bit. There'll be some quiet shavasana, and you don't have to do anything until you hear the singing bowl. And then I'll tell you, and then you still don't have to, because you're at home. Shum, ruddy, ruddy, shum, 
Sham radi radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi radi sham Sham radi sham Shavasana, enjoy.
You can stay right where you are as long as you like. If you feel ready to come with me, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe circle your wrists and your ankles. And when you feel ready, put the soles of your feet on your mat and make your way to a little side position. Take a few breaths here. There are lots of ways to be smart. So look for that in yourself and in others. Make your way to a comfortable seat. If you like, bring your hands to your heart. Bow your head. A few breaths of thankfulness for our amazing bodies. Not how they look, but what they do for us. Talk about smart. Our bodies are amazing. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste.